I tend to write rather strong women. My women don't trip over. I mean, they can run just as hard as the guy, and some of them can fight just as well. The strong women in the show, they're all really strong in completely different ways, which is really good. They haven't made, even my character, she's nice, but they've made her strong, and then there's Breeder, who's who's a strong battle woman, but then she has this, this stuff that happens to her that then makes her vulnerable. I will use this time to curse you. I really love Frida. She probably is maybe the first feminist <laughs> that existed in a way. I think the Saxon women really were second-class citizens, basically, which she just can't imagine to live that kind of life. I won't become a Saxon woman. She totally stands up for who she is. She's really strong. She says what she thinks. She's a really good thinker. She's a good planner, but she's also a good fighter. You belong to me now, old man, and you will die slowly. I'm not a historian, but um, in my imagination, life with the Vikings as a woman was a lot more fun and a lot freer and a lot wilder. Throughout the story of The Last Kingdom, there are a lot of strong women, Ellsworth included. She's got a very good political mind, so a lot of the time it looks like Alfred has made a decision, but he will consult her behind this great man, this amazing woman who's also his partner in crime, if you like. This interruption cannot be allowed to go unpunished. Because there's not that many girls in it, they have made them really strong, because when I first read Mildred, I was like, oh, maybe she's just quite timid and vulnerable and shy and actually as it goes on she's completely the opposite of that. Her faith makes her very strong. It shows women in a really true but really strong good light. Will you be resting with your family or with the animals? I think all of the women in it are awesome.